Hey guys, it's SFP here, and welcome to episode number 5 of my FIFA 16 Morecambe career mode. And we have three pretty spectacular games for you this time. Uh, as of today, it's the eve before uh, New Year's Eve, so I hope you guys have been having a great day so far. And we're going to have our first game here against Bristol City, away at their city, which obviously is not Court Lane, uh, but it's one of the default scenes that we get here at the game. Uh, you know, uh, I'm waiting for the day when uh, most of these teams will have their own stadium. Uh, I'm pretty sure that won't happen anytime soon, but it would be a nice idea to have at some point. Maybe by FIFA 2050 or something. Uh, but I would imagine all that licensing must pose a difficult problem for the people there at FIFA. Or, uh, excuse me, not the FIFA, EA Sports, excuse me. And as you can see here, I'm actually going with my B team here. I'm going with Contreras as my goalkeeper and my makeshift backline who still needs a little bit of work but I figure uh, the more I use this team the more I get used to them uh, the easier it will be uh, to get uh, more positive results I don't think I've lost with them yet but I haven't exactly been uh, as successful as I have been with my A team but nevertheless uh, that shouldn't pose too much of a problem and as you see here again my B team with three players again, or the the basically my back line is all new players, and my goalkeeper obviously is new, so that's that's very very interesting. And I have Parrish here as my only veteran of our team here. And here's hoping this game will be a good one to start off in this video. And we can see there. Graver Regis is our ref and for some reason I'm letting this thing go longer than I usually do and I do apologize for that guys but anyways let us continue with the game that will start right about now and as you can see here we have Goodall our holding midfielder who finds some space he's going to go for the pass and finds Kenyon Kenyon kicks it and it's a rebound, and he gets his, I believe, first goal of the season. A little shady of a goal, but I'll take it nonetheless, guys. Any goal, uh, any goal counts, basically. I'll take anything, especially for my B team. Even though that is not as aesthetically pleasing as uh, some of my other goals I've had. And actually, there is one goal that will be coming up either in this video or the next that uh, I was uh, astonished because I didn't think I'd actually have that in me, especially with the players that I have right now. Uh, they aren't exactly uh, the best players available, but hopefully within the next two to three seasons, we'll see a nice shift and we'll have a more competitive side. Anyways, that will be it for this first half here. We get that one goal. I think that was the only clear-cut opportunity that we've had in that game. Uh, Bristol hasn't had anything to worry me about, unfortunately, for them. Uh, but anyways, I'm going to make a couple changes here because... Uh, Compared to the other video where I've had a game, uh, two games about a week uh, in, basically, uh, I actually have more turnaround time between games. So that gives me the opportunity to put in McGowan and put in my other center back, who I believe is Doyle. Here we have Barhusian, who tries to sneak by and, and slip that ball in between there, but the goalkeepers to worry about that. But nonetheless, even... Even then, it wouldn't have gone in, so I guess maybe I'm making too much out of nothing, guys. And here we have another opportunity, but this time for Bristol City, and my goalkeeper's out. And, as you can imagine, an open net, chances of them scoring was relatively high, and so they actually get the equalizer here with five minutes to spare. So that kind of puts a little damper on my party. Uh, but maybe with these last six, uh, five or six uh, minutes remaining, I can maybe pull up an upset and sneak one more before the game is over. But what a good constructed goal. And, and the final shot there, uh, even though, you know, my goalkeeper is out of his area, that is still a quality shot there. Almost top right corner, upper 90. Anyways, and that is James Clark with the equalizing goal. As you can see here, we're in the deadlock here. Uh, Patrick Mullins trying to go for the ball. I'm trying to make something happen in these last few seconds. But unfortunately for us, uh, that's how the game will end, guys. A 1-1 draw, like I said again. This beat team hasn't exactly disappointed me, but it hasn't exactly fueled me with confidence uh, going into the game. Uh, I've actually used this team previously before in other 
uh, career modes uh, during my leisure time and I've had more success uh, but for some reason seems I'm a little bit rusty when it comes to uh, using Morkum. I guess I got so used to using Fulham or even Barcelona where I got uh, that level of comfort of knowing that I have quality stars that can uh, make a difference in a matter of seconds and with this team uh, it's going to take more than a second to make something happen. Anyways, let us go now with our second game where we'll be using our A team and this one will be against Northampton at home. <laughs> As you can see here, we're fourth place. We have three wins, four draws. Six points away from the league leaders, uh, Leighton Orient. So that's not too shabby if I say so myself. Obviously, I would like more wins, but uh, that won't... Uh, wishing it won't do much. I have to basically make it happen. But anyways, as we see this little intro here, guys, I'd like to remind you that I will be uploading a video on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Uh, they will obviously be pre-recorded. Because uh, I don't, I foresee me having a long night uh, going into the new year. And so uh, I doubt I'll be in a state to actually make a recording. If you guys get my drift, uh, me being over 21, obviously. <laughs> Anyways, and then we see Northampton here with their squad. And I wish, it's moments like these where I wish I was a little bit more... Uh, knowledgeable when it comes to the Football League 2 because uh, sadly I don't know any of these players I barely know my players and the only reason I know them is because I've used them so often and let us begin with this game and here we have we probably have the first opportunity with David David pieces defenders goes for a cross and Miller slots it in from blank range with a nice headed shot into the back of the net and you can see that construction it was amazing and then that little cross there which really was unnecessary, but I was feeling it. I was like, let me go for it. And luckily, Miller was there to finish the opportunity. And this is Miller's fourth goal. I think he is actually one of our top goal scorers at the moment. Uh, I think Ellison is also there with maybe three goals uh, to his name. And here we have Murphy. Murphy finds Wildig. Wildig with a nice slotted shot, and that is one of the prettier goals that I've scored compared to the one I had last game. Uh, this one definitely takes the cake. As you can see there by the replay, it's a nice driven shot. The angle, the way uh, Wildig's hips kind of just close in and just puts it in the corner there is amazing, guys. He's obviously one of our uh, higher rated players so it's something that I should be expecting from them to be quite honest but nevertheless I'm at awe at that goal I think that's one of the best goals I've had this season and yeah, I can tell you guys right now it will not be the best goal uh, that you guys will see this season I've made a couple of uh, quality good ones on the other two videos that I've already uh, edited I just need to basically give my commentary on it but you guys will see it at some point this week and that is how the first half will end guys we have a uh, excuse me, not the first half. This is how the game will end. A 2-0 uh, win that we have here. And I think nothing happened in the second half, which is why that video was edited so short. And here we have some training uh, simulation that we have here. And we have, we're going to put Mullen here as well. And I'm going to use all five. And he actually grows to an overall of 56. So our weakest player is actually amongst one of our uh, top reserve strikers, actually. Obviously, Miller's our top one here with 62, and they are actually not there. Uh, they, and by the way, I mean Mullen, and uh, the other player escapes me at the moment. Uh, but the two pl players that are, oh, and uh, Keller, excuse me, are not that far off from 62. So um, there's the potential that I, I, although Miller has been very very good to us um, he's getting up there in age uh, not as uh, up there as Wilson per se but I think there might be a time where I'll actually if I get a good enough offer I will consider selling Miller uh, and making some bank on the profit and trying to improve this team overall 
Although I must say our other strikers haven't been as prolific as Miller so far. But then again, Miller's been having more of the playing time anyway, so that might be uh, the defining factor as to why he's been more productive than my other two strikers combined. Anyways, here we have our last game against New York City. And as you can see, we're going with the A team, the A squad, because obviously they are uh, the team that I need right now because I want to get first. I know I don't need to get first to uh, go up to the next division, but I figure I'm here, I might as well do it. I'm already eliminated from everything else anyway, so uh, the only thing I might focus on is also the FA Cup because of uh, the profit. There you are, David, with a nice shot there, a nice pass, I believe, by Fleming. But the goalkeeper reads it well, and after looking at the replay, not exactly the best shot. Uh, I think the strength was good. The positioning, though, the placement of that shot was horrible. And here we see Miller, again, speaking about our most prolific striker. He's his defender. He goes for it, and he misses it. I could have sworn this was going to be one of his goals here, because uh, he's scored from a more complicated position. This one was a piece of cake, in my opinion, for him. But apparently, it wasn't to be, and so he loses that. And here we have Thompson, who beats all our back line. He has all the goal to himself, and if you thought Miller's shot was horrible, this one was even worse, because uh, in Miller's defense, he had a short angle. This one, uh, that player, that striker there, he had so much space, Thompson did, uh, to basically put it in the back of the net and give them the lead, uh, but he just wasted it, and that will be the end of this first half, guys. Any moment now, and the ref will blow his whistle. And now it is officially the end of the first half here in this last game that we have for you here in this video. Anyways, and I'm wondering, uh, I was wondering whether I made any changes, but apparently uh, my wonder is the story there. Here we have Ellison, who finds Fleming, and again, like I said in, earlier in this video, uh, you guys were going to see more prettier goals, and I think this one is right up there with that will dig, will dig goal here. Ellison passes to Fleming, and that snap header. And this goal is, is helped by the fact that the goalkeeper tries to reach in and he barely misses it there. I could watch this goal a couple more times, but obviously uh, we want to proceed with the game. So let's continue. That is Fleming's second goal. First goal of the game, second goal for him. And here we have an opportunity. Allison finds the ball. He actually gets clipped, and we're going to get a PK call, guys. An opportunity here with the last few seconds to actually double our score. That was a horrible tackle by number eight. I'm not sure what he was thinking, and Allison is obviously our heavily cake specialist. And will he get another one? And yes, he will. He slots it very nicely in the left area, the left vicinity of the goal. Goalkeeper just stands still, which to be quite honest, I actually thought of going straight forward. I remember the day when I, I actually didn't know how to take PKs. I would just hope that the goalkeeper would go one way or the other because it would just go straight down the middle for me. And I don't know how many of you guys remember uh, those times when uh, they had that uh, system, the previous system, which basically had an arrow or something signaling where the ball was going to be placed when you took a penalty kick or a free kick. Uh, when that was gone, uh, basically that signaled the end of me scoring uh, free kick goals as often as I used to do. Uh, anyways, guys, that will be the end of this game. We get a 2-0 win away from home, again with our A team, obviously. Uh, and that will be the end of that. And I believe there might be something else for you guys, because there's still another minute and a half left on this video. And I believe it should be, yep, player development. We have a training stint, and obviously the end of the month is coming up. And we're training Molyneux. And Molyneux actually grows as well. So everyone's growing around. I'm actually liking this, because uh, I've always had this debate of whether I want to just focus on one player and train them uh, on all five, or actually spread out uh, the wealth there. And so uh, previously what I did in my other career was is I would have one player for each slot, this time, I'm just considering just putting in one player and training them all. Uh, with the exception, obviously, of goalkeepers. Um, 
or uh, strikers, I guess. Um, players that basically don't have that much suggested things. I'm still kind of tinkering with that. But anyways, guys, focus on the squad report. Some players have been growing, which is great. Uh, even players that I haven't been using that often, to be quite honest. Which, which is a nice feature. I like that, actually. Anyways, I'll leave you guys with this. And I just want to remind you guys that if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you liked any, if you have any questions, concerns, anything, just let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me on Twitter at SFP Soccer Show and on Twitch at SFP Gaming. And until next time, guys, which is tomorrow, I will see you guys later. Peace out.